friends welcome or welcome back to my channel we are back after a long hiatus i haven't been posting videos because i actually just got married <laughs> It was a beautiful wedding and I spent a lot of my time trying to focus on that and get everything going for that. So <laughs> I didn't get time for it to do content, but we are back and ready to make more content. So for this video, what I want to do is I still have Affair of the Heart coming up, which is my biggest market yet. It's going to be three days and I probably need about $10,000 worth of inventory for it. So we are going to be making more stuff today for that. So there are a few things that I want to do today. I actually want to make this like a Halloween themed video. I want to try some new Halloween patterns that I found on Instagram and on Etsy. And one of those is this super adorable cauldron, which is kind of like a candy pot. It's empty on the inside and you can put candy in it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I want to try that today. I also want to try this ghost dog, which you may or may not recognize. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And we are going to start with the cauldron because I'm super excited to try that out it's gonna be so much fun it's so cute oh I'm so excited okay we're gonna start with the cauldron it's currently one o'clock in the afternoon we're getting a little bit of a late start here but we'll see how much we can get done today okay so the first thing we had to do was actually buy the patterns because I haven't bought them yet but we went on Etsy and we got those so these are paid patterns if you guys want them I will link them in the description box below if you guys want to try them yourself but the cauldron pattern is by little baby Rory crafts on Etsy and that one we are going to get started with there's a big one and a mini one so I think I'm gonna start with the big one and her cauldron is a dark gray which looks really good however I do not have dark gray so I think we're gonna go with black and this is sweet snuggles light and this is just in the color black it's a weight six super bulky yarn so we are gonna get ourselves a big old cauldron and I literally cannot wait for Affair of the Heart, you guys. I have never done anything so big before. I've never done a market as, as big as that before. So I am so excited to do it. I'm going to need so much stuff, though. Honestly, I hope I can get as much inventory as I'm trying to get done. It is the 10th of September, so we have like a month and a half still. So hopefully we can get our inventory up. So also, I just barely grazed over it in the beginning, but I did get married. It was such a good day, you guys, and so much happened to my sister actually ended up breaking her foot on my wedding day. So I went to go throw the bouquet, and my sister is so competitive, you guys. She's super competitive, and she's like, I'm gonna get this. Well, also, my now husband's brother's wife is also super competitive, and I guess my sister was not counting on that, and there are literally pictures leading up to when I tossed the bouquet, and they just went at it to get this bouquet, and somebody stepped on her foot. We still don't know who and it literally broke her foot she broke two toes and she has a fracture and so now she's in a boot and crutches <laughs> I was like oh my goodness oh my goodness it was such an eventful day and also I guess a bigger part of it too is that we tried to set everything up so that everybody knew what they were doing and so everybody lined up the groomsmen the bridesmaids they lined up the way that they were supposed to but they forgot to tell my now husband to also get in line so when I walked down the aisle the first time he was not there <laughs> and I was like oh my goodness um can somebody go get him please and like uh so his mom like literally bolted to where the groom's room was she yelled his name and he was sitting there and he was like what they told me to stay here until somebody came and got me and nobody got him so so i walked back i i ended up having to walk back to where my starting point was and restart and then we continued on but yeah so like the first time that I walked down the aisle in front of everybody he wasn't there <laughs> and it's not his fault so like somebody was supposed to come get him and they did it so <laughs> so it was a good wedding though <laughs>
Okay, so apparently this pattern had an inner pot and an outer pot. So I have the inner pot and the outer pot made. The cauldron gets stuffed apparently. And when I put the inner pot in the cauldron, there's so much space that the actual cauldron has that I really love. And then this inner pot doesn't have as much space. And I'm just kind of worried because this is also gonna get about five more rounds to it too. This outer pot isn't even done yet. So I feel like the, the actual pot itself isn't gonna be able to hold as much as I was expecting. So I'm kind of wondering if I should make a new pot that is deeper or just like add maybe one or two rounds to this inner pot or something. I just wanted, I wanted more space because this outer pot, it just has so much space and I love that. And I want it to be able to hold a decent amount of stuff for being so big. I don't want it to only be able to hold like a few pieces of candy, you know what I mean? I'm gonna keep going and trust the process. I just hope that it holds more than what I'm thinking. If not, I might have to adjust some things, but it's super cute. I really love it. The little feet on the bottom, it just looks like an actual cauldron. I am so in love with it. I can't wait to put the eyes on and that is what we're doing next. We stuffed the cauldron and we added the inner pot. I take it back about the space. This is actually definitely works out just fine, especially since you add all the stuffing and stuff. It definitely makes sense. I embroidered the mouth in black and I think that might have been a bad idea. So I think I might just undo this and maybe do it in white strand or something because it really, you can't even tell. <laughs> so I'm going to undo that. But for now, we're going to continue on and finish off the top and sew everything in and then do the rim. And then it's on to the bubbly stuff that goes on top. And we are almost done. And this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. to move on to doing the top part for our cauldron. Uh, I still have to fix the mouth, but ignore that for now. I was going to move on to doing the top part, uh, but in her picture she uses either purple or a bright green, and I want to use a bright green. I just don't have it. I want to use a bright green, but my only options for green are right here, and a lot of these are off blue or a teal color, and it's just not the green vibe that I'm going for. This is more of the green that I want. However, these are not nearly as thick as what I'm using. So that's not gonna work. It's a weight five bulky. It's gonna make it too small. And if I double it up, then it's gonna make it way too big. So I need to buy more yarn. So it is the next day now. <laughs> I kind of stopped it after showing me the yarn because we went out to go eat at Ramsey's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsey's restaurant, if you're familiar with him, uh, for our kind of celebration of the wedding. And it was amazing. It was so good. But I stopped recording and I stopped making progress on things. So where we left off, we have a cauldron 
that does not have a top because I do not have the proper yarn for it. So I'm going to have to order yarn to finish this project. But we can continue on with the ghost dog. So I think that's what we're going to do now. It's dead in the morning. I think the ghost dog is going to take a lot less time than the cauldron. The cauldron took me like three hours, you guys. That was a long project. It was longer than I thought. I definitely should have started off with the mini cauldron first so we had more blushies, but it's okay. So the ghost dog pattern is actually by Crochet by Sammy on Etsy. We are going to be using Sweet Snuggles Light again. We're going to be using white. Oh goodness gracious, it does not like the light. We're going to be using the color white Sweet Snuggles Light. Again, it is another weight six yarn. We are going to get this started. I am super excited. I hope I can make a decent amount of Halloween themed stuff. The market is the 21st to the 23rd of October. So it's kind of cutting it close to Halloween. Hopefully still people are going to want to buy like Halloween themed stuff around that time. So I want to add a few fall themed items and Halloween themed items just in case. So now we have our first ear. How cute. Okay, we're gonna make a second one. Just moved my scissors to cut that and there's literally a spider on my desk right now <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> so i'm gonna try to take him outside i failed he's uh under my desk now <laughs> he fell <laughs> okay well i don't like to kill them because i always think i'm just like well what if i was a spider or a bug or whatever just living my life and someone came along and stepped on me for being a spider when I wasn't doing nothing, you know? Plus spiders are really good. I garden and I don't know if you guys garden or if you, you know, have that hobby, but spiders are great for the garden. So I like to take them back outside and let them go kill all the bugs that like to kill my plants. Stop biting, it's so mean. She's such a mean cat. <laughs> okay, back to work. <laughs> we still have to make our second ear. guys we did it look at how cute it's almost 12 o'clock but at least we got him finished look at how cute he is i have to like shape him and stuff because he's a little wonky right now but he's so adorable i'm super happy with how he came out at least we got to finish this one because we're still waiting on the cauldron but so adorable you guys i absolutely love this oh my goodness I am coming on. It is a new day. I want to make this adorable free pattern. It is a ghost bear. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at how cute it is. I need to make this. I got some yarn from Michael's. It's not here yet, but I ordered some thinner plush yarn to make a smaller version of these and put them in mystery boxes. However, I don't have it yet and I just have my big thick yarn. So what I'm gonna do is make a bigger version of it because it's so cute and I really, really wanna try it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today to continue our Halloween themed video. So I'm going to be using Sweet Snuggles. Uh, actually, no, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. yes, it is Sweet Snuggles. Sweet Snuggles Light, Loops and Threads, 
I'll be using the white and the brown to make these adorable little bears. We are also going to be using a six millimeter hook. This has been my hook of choice lately for Sweet Snuggles. That is a weight six yarn. The six millimeter hook just kind of makes it come out really nice, a decent size with no holes. So I, I was using a seven millimeter hook there for a little while, but I just like the six a little bit better. This is a free pattern on Instagram as well, and I will link that in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to make your own little bear ghost creatures. <laughs> I just love opening a new skein of yarn. So satisfying. We are almost done with our little bear ghost. It's so adorable already. Oh my goodness, you guys. I loved working with this white yarn. It was so soft. It just slid right through my hook. But now this brown is not so soft and it is just not going through as easily and as quickly as that white yarn was. Look at this cute little boo bear. He's so cute. So the pattern calls to put some feet on him and I put some on him and I just decided to leave them off because you couldn't really tell that they were there to begin with. And it just adds extra time to the pattern. And I also messed it up. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna scrap it because then it's gonna take less time to make the pattern. So it's just gonna make it that much faster because I don't think that he, I mean, the feet are cute. Don't get me wrong. They're really cute if you do it right. And I did not do it right, but they are cute if you do it right. But I might as well just leave him off and just make the pattern a little bit faster. And he's still adorable without his little feeties. And he's so cute. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this, you guys. I can't wait to make a smaller one for my mystery boxes. Because this will not fit in my mystery boxes. Not yet. Oh, I am in love with these Halloween themed patterns, you guys. It's so exciting and so much fun. <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys. I had probably an hour's worth of content recorded on my camera, on my SD card, and when I went to go transfer it to my computer, somehow along the process it got corrupted and I no longer have those videos. I tried to use a file repair program, a recovery program. It didn't work. So those videos are gone, uh, unfortunately. But uh, what I had recorded was pretty much the entire process of me making this jumping spider for Halloween. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I recorded so much for that to put in this video. And it's just, I don't have it anymore. And it's been about three hours since I've started down this recovery road, so I've had time to accept the fact that I might not get that content back because at the very beginning of it, I was like, <laughs> I was tripping. I was so upset. Oh my goodness. 
but what can you do? I mean, things happen, so I just got to move on and accept it. So here we are, and here is a one minute little snippet as opposed to a whole process of this jumping spider that I decided to make for my Halloween market. My market is in uh, 10 days now, and it's close to Halloween, so obviously Halloween projects, and we've got this Halloween video theme going, so wanted to keep going. Sorry if it scares you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just... You know, Halloween's great for making spiders and stuff. And some people have these as pets, so I don't know. I, th I thought I'd try it out, okay? And there's so much other content and just reasons why in that video. And I can't get back to it. I, 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 and I don't know what I said, to be honest. I can't remember everything. And yeah, I'm going to stop holding this up just in case it freaks you out. But um, <laughs> anyway, there's a whole thing that happened with it. But we're just going to move past that and just uh, admire the craftsmanship and the pattern which i will properly give credit to right down here and we're gonna move on now <laughs> we're gonna move on <laughs> and that is everything for this crochet halloween themed vlog thank you guys so much for joining me and if you want to crochet any of these patterns that you saw in this video definitely check out the description box you can find all the links down there so you can try the patterns for yourself if you want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one bye for now